All right, I'm going to back up. I'm going to use my scarf and we'll get started. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. It was kind of dreary day in Michigan. Let's put my scarf to the side and we'll get warmed up and then we'll get going, working on a little dual task kind of thinking as we're moving a little bit today. So um, yeah, we're going to work our brain and our body. So let's go start in our chair as usual. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Angie. Um, and always I tell people um, just modify if you need to. I try to remember to show modifications. I apologize if I don't, but I'm um, just trying to keep moving as best you can. So, all right, today isn't super high intensity, um, but um, it's more like thinking and moving. So that will be good. So start with your feet wide apart, <coughs> hands to your side. You're gonna take a deep breath up and blow it out. <clears throat> One more time, breathe in and blow it out. Good. We're gonna do big arm circles. So the whole arm is gonna circle back. One, as big as you can get. Two, three, four, and five. Now forward. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Feet stay wide apart. Take your uh, right arm and reach up big to the ceiling. Stretch the fingers out and just lean over just a little bit. Stretching that whole side and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go the other direction and stretch those fingers look at that hand and hold one two three four five back to the, back to the center hands in front we're going to reach down to the floor as far as you can and just hold the stretch one two three four five walk those hands up now reach up to the ceiling get those elbows as straight as you can and look up at your hands, if you can, and count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then bring those arms down. We're gonna twist behind. So think about that knee going down to the floor so you can get that nice twist and pivot behind. Grab that chair, stretch your trunk for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the same thing the other direction. We're gonna twist and hold for five one two three four five back in front all right sitting up tall look up to the ceiling we'll stretch your neck out today and hold one two three four five now look down to the floor one two three four five look straight ahead Turn to look over one shoulder as far as you can. Stretch that neck and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Then let's go the other direction and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Back in front. All right, we're gonna stretch your legs out a little bit. Take one foot, put it on the opposite knee or just crisscross it if you can't pull it up there and lean forward a little bit, stretch the hip out and hold one two three four five bring it down other foot pull it up and if you want you can put a little bit of if as long as you don't have any pain right a little pressure on that knee just to stretch it a little bit more and lean forward one two three four five back down let's stretch your hamstring out you're going to straighten out one leg so you're trying to keep those toes pointed up and then lean forward. Feeling that stretch behind the knee as far as you can and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go the other direction. Lean forward and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Okay, starting with your right foot, just take a big step away. So, right, okay, so you've got this nice wide base of support. You're gonna take your hands and you're gonna reach down to the floor as far as you can and hold for five. One, 
two, three, four, five. Come back up, take a big step in, other leg, your left leg steps out big, and then reach down to the floor as far as you can go and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up big, big step back in. All right, feet are wide apart. Deep breath. We'll be using our rags in a second before we do that. We're just gonna do our warm up. We're gonna do 10 reps of our uh, sitting power moves, our basic power moves. So if you feel like, oh, I can't do that, just always remember you can come back to these basic power moves. So hands on your knees, come forward. You're gonna power up, open up those hands and chest. That's one, let's keep going. Down and up, two. Three, working on that posture, down, power up, four, five, up big, six, seven, up eight, come down as far as you can, up as high as you can, nine, one more, and ten. Good, okay, starting with your left, you're just gonna rock and reach like we did earlier, one direction, then we're gonna switch, we're gonna rock and reach the other direction for 10, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten nice okay and then our twist working on stretching that trunk out starting with your left hand we're going to pivot that foot down twist it get those hands to come together open up big that's one let's keep going twist and clap open two twist three twist four twist five twist Six, twist, seven, twist, eight, twist, open big nine. One more time, twist, open big 10. All right, last one is our step. So starting with your right foot, you're gonna take a big step to your right. That's one, together, other direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All right, reset those feet wide. Um, grab your um, towel or your, um, I guess, washcloth, or if you have a grocery bag, that works. I think everyone probably has a grocery bag if you want to. All right, here we go. So we're going to start by adding movement and just manipulating the towel between our hands, which I think we've done before, right? A lot of you've done before, and then we'll start adding layers on that. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to have you hold it in your right hand. All right, we're going to come down. We're going to power up. We're going to put it in your left hand you're going to come down and you're going to power up all right so that's all we're going to do so each time you power up you just switch it to the other hand so let's start in our right hand we're going to do 20 so we're going to try to you know get our maybe get our heart rate up a little bit so here we go ready come down and power up one and switch two so we are moving a little bit faster three four good five and switch keep going six seven go as big as you can eight nine and switch ten keep going <laughs> eleven i know normally i only do a uh, twelve normally I do ten of these <laughs> thirteen so go at your pace 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, switch it out, 19, and 20. Good. All right. Holding it in your left hand, we're going to do the same thing with our rock. So you're going to rock, put it in the other hand, rock, put it in the other hand. Okay, so 20 of these. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, big reach, four, switch, five, switch, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, good job, eighteen, switch, nineteen, and twenty. All right, good, so we're getting our blood flowing a bit, right? <laughs> All right, hold that scarf in your left hand. We're just gonna do 10 twists because we're gonna do more with this later. So twist, grab that scarf with your right hand and then open up big. That's one, twist, grab that scarf with your left hand, open up big two, let's keep going. Three, open, four, open, five, open, six, open, seven, open eight open nine open ten open all right bring those feet closer together and we're just doing ten steps so let's start with your right side and we're just doing ten here you're going to step out big bring it back put the scarf in the other hand step out big that's two big step three together four together, five, together, six, together, seven, together, eight, together, nine, together, and 10, together. Good. Okay, so we're going to stick with this step. Now we're going to start adding some, I guess I'll call it cognitive challenges if you want to. So with our step, you can use your scarf if you want. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to start in your right hand, right? And each time you step to the right, you're going to say the day of the week. And we're going to start with Sunday. Each time you step to your left, you're going to say the month of the year. We'll start with January. Okay. So we're going to go to your right is the day of the week, starting with Sunday. To your left is the month of the year, starting with January. So Sunday, January, Monday, February, we got, then I'm gonna to try to be quiet so you guys can think about it, okay? Let me see if I can do it, right? Okay, so starting with Sunday, ready, let's step. Sunday, January, Monday, February, Tuesday, March, here we go. Wednesday, I'm gonna try to be quiet now. And then our last day is Saturday and last month is good. <laughs> All right, this is where I wish we were in person so I could hear, right? Okay, get those feet out really wide. Now we're going to go back to our rock like this. We're going to rock like this. Okay, so <laughs> when we do our rock, the only thing we're going to do now is we're just going to spell a word. We're going to spell the word sunshine with each time we rock. So let's start with your uh, left hand and we'll rock this direction. And we're going to spell the word sunshine. So are we ready? Okay, here we go. S. U in s h i n e good all right that was great so now we're going to do the same thing but we're going to spell the word sunshine backwards 
So spelling it backwards, sunshine, I got to picture it in my head. Are we ready? All right, starting with your left hand, let's go. E, N, I, ooh, what's next? H, <laughs> S, N, U, N, S. Good job. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move back to our twist. All right, this time we're gonna spell the word, um, let's spell the word bunny. I'm trying to think of Easter things. That might be a little easier, bunny. Okay, starting forward. Ready, let's twist. B, open, U, open, N, N, and Y. All right, we got it now backwards. Ready, you got that word in your brain. We're gonna spell it backwards. Let's go. Y, N, N, U, and B. Good, all right. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna just move next. Okay, so we have this scarf, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it up as high as you can. You're gonna bring it down, put it under one knee, up big, under the other knee, up big. If you don't wanna lift your leg up, you can just touch and bring it up, touch and bring it up like this or lift it under the knee. Okay, you ready? Arms up, let's do 20, here we go. One, two, three, up big, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, bring those feet a little bit closer together, railroad track. So we're, we're option is just to do the step or you're going to do 20 of the sitting jumping jacks and taking that scarf and putting it in the opposite or alternating it in your hands, I should say. All right, so we've got 20 steps or 20 sitting jumping jacks. Are we ready? And let's go one and switch two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Nice. All right. Bring those feet back wide apart. Okay, holding in your left hand, you're just gonna thread it under your right knee and flick it up as high as you can. I know you can't see it up here. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. So let's start as high as you can with that left arm, whatever range you've got in your shoulder, keeping in mind what other, other issues you might have. We're gonna go under as far as you can and flick it up big, one. Under and up big, two. Under and up, big three. Under and up, four, five, six, seven. Good. Flick it up, big eight, nine, and ten. Good. We're going to switch to the other hand. Same thing. We're going to start up as big as you can get that right arm. Go under that knee and flick it up big. One, two, three, four, five, six, under, up, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Um, we're gonna scoot forward a little bit. So 
Um, if you can, try to get as close as you can to the edge of your chair safely. And you're just going to shift your weight forward like this and bring it back. So we'll start with your right hand. Actually, you're going to shift forward. When you come back, put it behind your back. Shift forward behind your back. So we're going to alternate like this. Now, here's your option. You're just shifting forward. Or if you want, I'm going to turn my chair so you can see me. You can lift up a little bit and then come back down if you want to get a little butt lift. <laughs> All right, we're going to do 10. So I'm, I guess it doesn't really matter which hand you start with, actually. So whichever hand you want to start with, we're just switching it. Ready? We're going to shift our weight forward and then behind our back. Forward, behind our back. That's two. Forward, behind our back. Three. Forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, back to the front. Maybe I'll just leave it like this so you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, now when we do our sit to stands, do our sit to stands here. Okay. Again, you can just reach forward if you don't want to come to a stand. Otherwise, we've got this scarf. You're going to come forward. You're going to power up. Then you're going to put in the other hand, come down. You're going to come forward, power up, switch, and come down. All right. So we've got 10 of those or just 10 big weight shifts forward. <laughs> okay. We're ready. Get your feet ready. Make sure that they're not out in front if you're going to stand. Pull them underneath you. Okay, here we go. Forward and up big one. Switch to the other hand and come down. Good. Keep going. Two. And switch. Three. And switch. Four. And switch. Five. And switch. Six and switch, seven and switch, power up big, eight and switch, power up big, nine and switch, and last one, power up big, ten, and then have a seat. Good. Okay. We're definitely warmed up, hopefully. So we're going to move to standing next. So if you want to do standing, go ahead and carefully stand up. Um, have your chair close by if you need it for support. Adjust the screen a little bit here. Um, and even if maybe you want to start in standing for a while, see how you do, then go to the chair. Um, yeah, just kind of listen to your body. Okay, so we've got our scarf here, right? <laughs> We're going to start with our power up. We're going to do 20 this time like we did um, in sitting. So if you're sitting, we're just back to those big power ups. And if you're standing, powering up. So we've got the scarf and we're going to alternate it from one hand to the other hand. All right, we're ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to go down and power a big one and switch and up two and three four, five, six, seven, eight, down up big nine, down up big 10, keep going, down and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, this is good. Getting our legs warmed up here. Now our rock. So our feet are still wide. We're in our ready position. Starting with your right hand, you're gonna rock and reach up to the ceiling. Come back down, put it in the other hand and reach up, back down. Let me just 
adjust this just a tad more so you can see my arms. Okay, so we're doing 20, starting with your right. We're in a ready position and let's go rock up. One and switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. All right. Let's do our twist. We're just going to do 10 of these, okay? So arms are big. You're really twisting, grabbing that scarf in the other hand. Open up big. That's one. Twist. Two. Twist. Three. Twist. Four. Twist. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine and ten good and then our step make sure you guys have room to move we're doing ten steps so let's start with our step to the right you have that scarf in your right hand in our ready position big step to your right let's go big step one together two switch three switch four switch five Switch, good, six, switch, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, okay, so let's go back to our twist. So feet are wide, arms are big. So all we're gonna do now is as we twist like this, I'm gonna say a day of the week and you're gonna tell me the day that follows that with each twist. So for instance, if I say Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. So we're just gonna do a few like that, okay? <laughs> so it's the day that follows the day I call out. Ready? So let's go. Wednesday, say Thursday. Saturday, good. Monday. Friday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Sunday, last one, Thursday, you say Friday, awesome. Okay, not too bad, All right? So this time when we do it, same thing with our twist, you're gonna say two days that follow it. So I say Monday, what's two days after Monday? That'd be Wednesday, so it's two days that follow it. So I say Monday, you say Wednesday, Right, Friday, you would say Sunday. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I really wish I could hear it right now, but <laughs> all right. So two days follow the day. I shut out. Ready? Let's go with Tuesday. Good. Friday. Wednesday. Saturday. Thursday. Tuesday. Sunday, let's do one more. Monday, good, okay. <clears throat> now, one more thing here. I'm gonna say the day of the week and you're gonna tell me two days that preceded it. So it's a little trickier. If I say Wednesday, what's two days that come before Wednesday? Monday. <laughs> All right, we got it. So two days before the day I, I shout out. <clears throat> or, yeah. We're relearning our days of the week, right? <clears throat> okay, ready? So two days before, here we go. I'm gonna say Sunday. Good. Friday. <clears throat> Tuesday. Saturday. Good. Wednesday. Tuesday. Sunday. Thursday, one more, let's do Wednesday, 
every Monday. Good. <laughs> awesome. All right, <laughs> moving on. We're just going to move a little bit now, okay? So this is what we did in sitting. We're back to this one, but it's standing. So our hands were big, and you're going to come down and put this scarf or rag under your knee, back up to this wide base, under, back up wide. So if you don't feel comfortable lifting your feet up, just touch your knee, come up touch your knee come up if you don't want to lift that foot up okay or say and then in sitting same thing we did in sitting right okay we've got 20 of these hands up as high as you can get them feet are wide apart ready let's go shift and go under one up big two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Good, okay, we're gonna go back to our step. Remember our step like this, okay. We're gonna do one more cognitive thing. So this time, each time you step to your right, you're gonna shout out a winter sport. Each time you step to your left, a summer sport. So I could say like hockey and swimming. So <laughs> do the best you can, all right? We'll just do 10 of these. So that's only five sports each side. So the, well, this is doable, right? Winter sport to your right, summer sport to your left. Ready, let's go. I'm going to go with skiing and swimming. Keep going. Hockey, running. That's four, five, six, seven. Good job. Eight. So winter sport. One more. And summer sport. Good. So if you notice you slow down, that's normal, right? Because we're trying to task switch, think about two different things back and forth and we're moving. So if you're a little slower, don't worry about it. That, that's normal. We just wanna make sure that you keep your balance. So if you find that you start to lose your balance with that, that means you just need to focus more on your balance first versus this cognitive task, but it's good to work on. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna do a little bit of a circuit. It's only four moves. We're gonna use our Use our rags. We just have about 45 seconds of each each move. Um, so it'll be good. Let me get my timer out and we'll uh, get going. I have it set. We don't want to do one minute, do we? <laughs> that would be way too long, huh? So we're just doing four moves twice, 45 seconds with the break, okay? So the first move is just our rock. So we did this already. So we're just starting our position. We're just rocking. The only difference is if you want to go down a little bit lower, you can. So if you're sitting in the chair or standing, we're just doing our rock for 45 seconds. Um, and then the second one is just a squat and a switch. Squat and switch. All right. And then I'll show you the rest as we go. So you guys can hear the timer. So we're rocking. We're rocking and reaching. Feet are wide apart. Doesn't matter which hand you start in with your scarf. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're gonna rock and reach up and then switch. There we go. So we've got 45 seconds. You go as low as you want to go. Maybe you're gonna go really low, then up high, right? You decide how low you want to go. You want to get a little aerobic in, you can go really low and up. <laughs> Good job. 20 seconds. We're rocking and reaching up to the ceiling. Whew. This is a good whole body, full body exercise. 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. I had it really out. Okay, we're gonna squat and bring it behind our back. So squat behind your back. Squat behind your back. Whew. Okay, here we go. Four, three, 
two, one, push it forward, behind your back, switch forward, behind your back, switch forward, behind your back, good, all right, down, behind your back, and switch, we got it, we we're getting a good leg workout today, <laughs> so let's go on, behind your back, keep those feet wide apart if you can, right, Woo. down, behind your back, Good job, keep moving, you got it. Down, stick that bottom back like you're gonna sit in a chair. Sit, up, 10 seconds, sit, up, sit, up. Three, two, and one. All right, the next one is a step forward. So we're just big step forward, come back and switch. Big step forward, if you're sitting in the chair, just bring your leg forward like this. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. Forward, step it back, switch to the other hand. Forward, switch to the other hand. Good, you guys got it. If you're sitting, you're just taking that foot and stepping forward. Forward and back. Forward, push back. Forward, push back, good. Forward, push back, forward, push back. We got it. Keep moving. About 10 seconds left. We're gonna keep stepping with our big arms. Big arms, three, two, and one. All right, the last one is back. We're back to our squat, but we're using the, we're going the other direction. So I went one direction, now you're gonna go the other direction. Hopefully you remember, that's part of your cognitive Do you remember which direction you went, right? Breathe, there you go. Down and then behind your back. Down, behind your back, switch to the other hand. And then behind your back. Squat, behind your back, squat behind your back, good, squat, behind your back, you got it, squat, behind your back, Woo. this is it for this one, then we'll move on, we got, do we get to do this again, you guys, hey, <laughs> squat, behind your back, squat, behind your back, good job, squat, Woo. 10 seconds, sitting back in that chair, imagine you're sitting back in that chair, coming up tall, Three, two, and one. Breathe. All right. Our rock, back to our rock. So you decide how low you want to go. You could just do the rock here, or you could add the squat to your rock. If you're sitting, you're just doing the rock and sitting. Ready. And go. We're going to reach up. Switch. Good. Switch. So down and up, down and up. Good job. So just reach as high as you can go, as big as you can get. Your whole body's moving. Nice. Good. Down and up, down and up. You got it. Keep moving. This is the last time you have to do this. <laughs> up, up. 10 seconds, up, up, Woo, breathe, four, three, two, and one, nice, okay, all right, it's our squat behind the back, you're going to go back to the first one you did before with, I had my uh, right hand, so you guys, you can remember which direction you went, we'll do that same direction, three, two, one, so squat and then up behind your back and switch. Squat behind your back and switch. Good. So really good practice where you're really thinking about lowering yourself down in the chair, then back up, right? Using those muscles so you don't just fall into that chair. You gotta lower yourself down, right? Lower yourself down. Good. Takes a lot of muscle strength here. Good. Keep going. And down and up, down and up. 10 seconds, up, 
Good job. Three, two, and one. Okay, stepping forward. So at least we get to move, but no more. <laughs> Not squatting, we're just stepping forward. If you're sitting, remember you're stepping forward if you're sitting. Four, three, two, one. Big step forward, big push back, and switch it to the other hand. Forward, big push back. There you go. You got it. Forward, big push back. Good. So as much effort as you put stepping forward, same amount of effort to push yourself back, right? Sometimes more effort, actually. <laughs> big push back. Good, you got it. Keep moving. Forward, big push back. Forward, big push back. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Big push back. Four, three, two, and one. All right, this is it. This is your last one of the circuit. We're back to our squat, putting it behind our back, going the opposite direction of what you just did. Breathe. Ready? Let's get ready. Knees are soft and we're gonna go squat up and reach behind, switch, down, behind the back and switch, down, behind the back and switch. Good. Down. We got it. This is it, you guys. Last one. <laughs> then we're moving on. Last bit of our circuit here. Down. Behind. Good job. Try to keep moving, do the best you can. You got it. Looking good, everybody. 10 seconds. Whew. Squat and up. Three, two, one, and you're done. Good job. Whew. It's kind of warm now. Awesome. Okay, so. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go down to the floor. So if you wanna get on the floor, we're gonna get on our back. So if you need to grab a pillow for your head, you can do that now. We're gonna start on our back with our powering up our chest. So you can move your, just throw your rags down or towels to the side. If you're sitting in the chair, you're just gonna really work on sticking that chest up. So this is what we're gonna do on your back, but if you're sitting, it's just powering up your chest, really opening up that whole area there. So I'll give everyone a few seconds to go ahead and get down on your back. Um, you can have your legs bent or straight, whatever's comfortable for you, right? That kind of warmed me up, that circuit. <laughs> I'm really warm. Okay, it looks like everyone's almost there. Good. So we're going to start with powering up our chest. So if you're on your back, these bent are straight. All right, you push your elbows, your elbows push into the floor, and your head pushes into the floor. And you're just going to power up that chest. So you're getting some space between your shoulder blades and the floor, hopefully, right? It's not a big movement, but we'll do 10 of these. So ready? Let's lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, let's go ahead and bend your knees if they're already bent. Now we're gonna lift our hips. We're gonna power up, power up our hips. If you're sitting in the chair, you can just do heel raises for this one. All right, ready? Let's lift our hips up as high as you can get them and back down one. Keep going, two, three, <clears throat> Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, lift, nine, lift, 10. Great, okay, knees bent or straight, again, whatever you're comfortable with. And we're gonna move on to our rock. So maybe I will have you actually bend your knees a little bit because what you're gonna do with your right hand, you're gonna reach away from your body. So your left foot is gonna push you to your right. So you're gonna reach up and away from your body with your right hand and then come back to the center. Left hand is gonna reach up and away. So use that right foot to really push you to the left and then come back to the center. So you wanna get some lift. If you're sitting in the chair, right? You're just gonna rock and reach like this if you're sitting in the chair, rock and reach like that. All right, here we go, let's do 20. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, go ahead and do that. We're gonna rock and reach with that right one. Down, other direction two and as you reach look at that hand three can you look at that hand four five six seven reach to your left eight reach nine so a big weight shift ten keep going eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, keep going, 19, last one, and 20. All right, that's really good. Like maybe thinking about like if you wanna, if you're in bed and you wanna like roll over or reach for something, gotta practice that weight shifting. Okay, so for our twist, Arms are big to your side, like you're the shape of a T, All right? So if you're sitting, if you're sitting, we're gonna do our twist like that. Okay, let's just do 10 twists here. So arms are big, doesn't matter which side you start with, ready? Let's twist and clap, one, open, two, open, three, open four, open, five, open, six, open, twist and clap, seven, open, eight, open big, nine, one more, and 10. Good. All right, the last one on our floor is our step. So bend those knees. We're gonna add our arms a little bit too. So if you start with your right foot, Take a big step to the right and open up that arm to the right. Bring it back to the center. Left foot step, big step with the arm as well. Back to the center. Let's count 10. One, two, feel like you're squishing a bug. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Great. Okay. If you want, we're going to repeat that. And if you want, you can do your bridge and hold your bottom up as you do your step. All right. You ready? It's your choice. We're going to do 10. Let's step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's a little hard with the hands, eight, <laughs> nine, and 10, and down. Whew, good. Okay, straighten those legs if you can, as long as you uh, don't have any back issues, and then bring your arms up above your head as far as you can. We're gonna do all of this whole body stretch, stretch it out, we're just gonna hold this for five, one, two, three, four, five, bring your hands down, bend those knees up if they're not already bent, feet are together and knees are together, all right, so knees are touching, you're going to open up your hands, 
big like you're the shape of a T again, and we're gonna do lower trunk rotation. So both knees are just gonna to fall to one side as far as you can go, all the way up to the other side, as far as you can go. Okay, let's do 10. We're gonna rotate one, then the other direction, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, back up to the top. Okay, this next I'm gonna to try to explain as best as I can. So it's kind of same thing we just did. Knees are together. Take both of your knees and let them fall to your right side. Okay, then that left leg that's on top, you're just gonna kick it out as straight as you can, kick it straight, and then bring it back, and then back to the center. We're gonna do the same thing the other side, go to the left, that right leg's gonna kick out as straight as you can, back to this, on top, to the center. Let's just do one more each side. So rotate, that top leg's gonna to kick out as straight as you can get it, back on top, and then the same thing the other direction, rotate over, that top leg's gonna kick out as straight as you can get it, and then back to the center. Nice, okay, you can go ahead and re, uh, bring your arms to your side. All right, and we're just gonna do one more thing, your little coordination thing, a little core work. So I think you guys, some of you may be familiar, familiar with it, it's like, we call it the dead bug. You're gonna lift your legs up like this and your opposite arm and leg are gonna move. So let me try to, I, we're working on our brain today, right? Left leg and right arm move at the same time, okay? So left leg goes straight, right arm goes above your head and then you come back together. Right leg kicks out straight, left arm goes up above your head and then back together. So sometimes we call this like the dead, the dead bug exercise. You know, when bugs get on their back and their legs start to <laughs> flare. I don't know about you guys, I have all these stink bugs in my house now, it's really annoying. And they, this reminds me of them when they get flipped on their back. All right, let's do 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, oh, good. That's it for our floor exercises. So if you're on the floor, you can go ahead and carefully roll over and um, we're gonna head back to the chair. <sighs> And grab your uh, um, towel or washcloth if you have it there. If you're already sitting, you're good. Whew. Good job, you guys. I hope you got that thing. So when I was on the floor, I was kind of doing like the I should, I'm sorry, I didn't, I totally forgot to modify it. It kind of looks like this, but you're on the floor, like opposite arm and leg are moving. So for those of you that modify like this, good job. <laughs> I should have showed that earlier, but okay. So little fine motor, um, it kind of depends on what you have to, to do this with, but um, what you're gonna do, and then washcloth's good, hold it in one hand like this and let it at the top. Okay, and just using one hand, can you wrap it up to wad it in a ball, like with just one hand and get it all, see if you can, yeah, work those fingers, a lot of fine motor, and get it all the way up <laughs> in your hand into a fist. I've got a lot of scarf going on. Good. Oh, I see. Good job, you guys. So you got it up there and then let it go. Let's switch to the other hand. So you're holding it like this, and then you're just gonna bring it up 
use those fingers to really work it into your fist into a ball <laughs> ah good 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 a lot of fine motor work here my forearm is kind of burning a bit <laughs> all right and then you can let it go good okay you can bring it to the side all right let's spread those fingers out in front we'll stretch them out and then you're gonna bring them back and then just flick them forward. One, two, three, four, like you're flicking water, five, six, big flick, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so those are whole hand flicks. Let's do individual finger flicks. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see me. So first finger to thumb like this, and then you're just gonna flick. Flick that first finger to thumb. Let's go to second finger and thumb and flick and flick. Third finger to thumb, we'll cup two flicks. Flick, flick, and then fourth finger and thumb, flick, flick. Good, all right. One more time, we're just gonna do one each. So first finger to thumb, flick. Second finger to thumb, flick. Third finger to thumb, flick. Fourth finger to thumb, flick. Good, all right. Now we're gonna switch to circles, which we've done before, big circles. So if you find you're like this, really look at your fingers, see if you can really extend those other fingers while the two make circles, go ahead, open. Second finger to thumb, big circles while the other ones are extended and open. Third finger, big circles, open. Fourth finger, and then stretch it out. Good, and open, nice. All right, okay. Bring those hands in front, clasp them together and push, push them forward. Let your head drop in between your shoulders and then once you're here, can you push them forward even more to get more of that stretch in your upper back and shoulders and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Sit up tall. You're going to turn those hands inside out and ooh, crack, really stretch the fingers out and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now behind your back, clasp them together. Good. Now push them down and back. Stretch that chest out and let's hold it here for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then relax. All right, a little shoulder, shoulder circles here. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. All right, last thing, deep breath. Let's bring those hands up. Take a deep breath in through your nose and blow it out give yourselves a hand good job you guys so